I feel like everyone has kind of forgotten that Mattel canceled three racing tractors at the end of 2019, those being Combustor, No Stall, and of course, Tank Coat. Now, I just want to put it out there, this is not a canceled prototype, unreleased car, as much as I wish it was. It is a wonderful custom, on the other hand, by Jim Scavenger that we will soon dive into the review of. But I just have to say, isn't it so weird that Mattel goes ahead cancels those three tractors after releasing a couple before that and then in 2021 they release like four entirely different tractors you know they go Vuzine, Clutch Aid, Easy Idle, and Sputter Stop those were the four in 2021 and in my opinion they're all pretty much boring compared to the ones that they canceled. Although Combustor and these two are pretty equal because they're like the same paint schemes, but I would have loved to see a tank coat tractor, like a pink tractor, no stall, like a dark red tractor. That would have been so cool. I just don't understand that they like have the plans for those and then they're like, yeah, no, I don't like those sponsors. Let's do four entirely different sponsors. I don't know, whatever guys. But yeah, Jim Scavenger Custom here today. He did a metallic version of this, but I wanted just the regular because obviously that's how Mattel would have done it. And it looks very, very accurate to Mattel's version because they did post a stock image on Walmart's website. And I believe it's still up to this day, like the actual listing is still there. So I will put a picture of it so you can compare. The only noticeable difference I see is that the roof on the Mattel version is a much like darker pink, like they made it this color which I don't really care either way. It would be kind of weird if they had it looking like that. I don't know. Sometimes they do. Like on Easy Idle, you can see they change the roof color, but for that one, it's like gray and blue, not just like pink and dark pink. So yeah, super accurate to what would have been. I'm not sure what tractor he used, but doesn't really matter. I don't really care about that stuff. Maybe uh, this guy's got, yeah, different mouth, different eyes. Different mouth, different eyes. He probably used a sputter stop tractor then. Definitely not a clutch aid one. Definitely not a bumper save one. Yeah, so he must have used like sputter stop. Actually, no, sputter stop looks different. Maybe it's a rev and go one. You guys will probably be telling me down in the comments below. I love how he always does like a super nice matte black finish on the smokestack. I've never been like really a fan of how Mattel does it with like this gray that chiseled up into like a blue tarnish here. I don't know, it just seems a little weird to me. But Jim Scavenger usually does like a black matte finish. He did it on some of the recent tractors I have of his. This one's more of a glossy finish and this is one that you'll see a review of very soon. This HDB tractor, I actually reviewed this in June of 2022. That is how long I've been sitting on that video in my <laughs> stockpile. Just haven't really had a good time to upload it. But I wanted to do this one first because I think it's better, even though he made this one like six months later. So you have the Rich Mixon tank coat logo there. Of course, this is obviously supposed to be Rich Mixon from the movie. Let's see. I'm going to put a picture on the screen of where he might appear. I'm not entirely sure if I'll find one. I'm sure I will, actually. So yeah, there's a picture of him from the movie when Cruz is imagining all the tractors all the racers turning in the tractors so that to her they appear more maneuverable. So TC, Piston Cup, Combustor, Carbon Cyber Synergy, 36. A little arrow there indicating to the <laughs> pit crew where to lift them up at to change the tires, just like I'm Rich Mixon. Absolutely adore the giant pink wheels that he's got going on. Light your tires here. Beautiful pink color. Perfect color too. Really nicely done. I think this is my favorite tractor that Jim Scavenger has done, although it certainly is in the most jeopardy of becoming not necessarily irrelevant, but just based on the fact that Mattel is more viable to release this than like the King, the Chick Hicks tractor, the Taco Mint tractor, and even the Vinyl Toupee tractor that he did. This was like his first tractor ever because of the fact that this one actually doesn't appear in the movie. Like you would assume that like all of them would exist, I guess, in Cruz's mind or like her perception, but there are some that aren't shown. Like there isn't like a Jackson Storm tractor that you could spot, for example. 
You have TC there on the back, similar to Rick Smithson's TC, although a little lighter. He's got the rookie racing stripes. Jim Scavenger has been doing them in like this dark color. I just reviewed the next gen shifty drug custom that he collaborated with Thomas Hatfield on. And they have pretty much the same rookie stripes, whereas he always used to do like the yellow rookie stripes, which is really how it should be because of the fact that like yellow is the mandated color for, you know, rookie. But we're taking some liberties here. And that's fine. It looks better. I mean, to have like this dark kind of reddish pink color instead of the yellow that Rich Mixon has. He even painted the like little fender here. Fender covers and then 36 there on the roof. There's the base. Beautiful. Just like a pure pink. It looks like candy, honestly. Like I'd eat this. <laughs> so there you have it. Just compare them a couple other tractors here. You have the Vinyl Tupe one, which is one of my favorites to this day. I love the metallic purple and the black roof there to symbolize the vinyl top. Also, he did the silver little radiator cap, I would assume there. This time he just painted over it, which is actually the first time he's ever done that. At least I have a lot of his tractors. I don't have all of them. Like I think he did a Starbucks one before. He's done probably a Lightning McQueen tractor, but you can see usually he paints the radiator cap like silver. On the HTB one, he painted it black though. I have so many of his tractors. Here's the Taco Mint one that I reviewed. Really cool. We've got so many tractors at this point. And again, like when Cars 1 came out and we were introduced to the idea of tractors, who would have ever thought that like we would be getting like racer tractors? I mean, if I saw this in 2006, I would have been like, oh, it's just somebody like making a custom, like a fun little custom. Like I remember people used to do What's a good example? They would like, oh my gosh, what is a good example here? They would like do chugs, okay? I've seen this before. People would make custom chugs as if they're like a Piston Cup Racers fuel truck. So like they would take your chug from planes and make it look like a N2O Cola themed staff member essentially. And I was like, oh yeah, that's just fun, you know, expanding the universe. But I never would have thought that like these things actually appeared in a movie, you know. Here we have some of the Mattel released ones. You have Clutch A Tractor, who's probably the most popular tractor. Like if, I don't know. If you were to ask me like what tractor is most forlorn, it is absolutely not him because he got a Disney Store release. Obviously, he got released twice from Mattel. Once as a single, once in a two-pack with Rusty's Cruise. And then also by Mattel as a mini racer. I think it's the only mini racing tractor they've done to this day. They've done a regular cow tractor, but in terms of racing tractors, he's the only one. Oh my God, I'm knocking them around. They always become very rare. Like for the most part, these tractors are some of the most coveted releases Mattel does. And it's understandable just because of how fun they are. And they just also don't really release them in massive quantities. The bumper save one though, he was in a two-pack in 2019 and then a 2021 single, but that 2021 single is probably one of the rarest of that mainline year because it was only in case A, which was distributed like, I want to say something really harsh, but I'm just going to say it was distributed very badly, like ass, like ass cheeks. <laughs> Easy Idle Tractor was much easier to find. It's one of the only ones that I've actually found in a store. He was in KC of 2021. I think he might have reappeared later down the line as well. I did not, I never found Vuzine or Clutch A Tractors in a store. That kind of sucks. But I did find Spother Stop like twice because I think I opened up a Case E at Walmart one day, which was really cool. And then I found one at like AutoZone. So yeah, two clutch eight or two spider stop tractors, but zero clutch eight, zero easy idle. I think I set found a couple two packs of the bumper save one, but none of the single. Quite a few easy idle tractors, quite a few. I found a lot of rev and go tractors, especially because they like restocked that case a year later. But either way, that's not what you guys really care about, do you? And then here's a little final comparison with his 
human car form, I guess you could say, Rich Mixon. So Rich is a little lighter pink, but this looks much similar. Like it looks like the shade of pink that they were going to use that we saw in the stock image earlier. So, and it's also very similar to this custom Tanko crew chief I have here. I recently got this just kind of as a fun thing. I'm not a big fan of it because the decals have yellowed, which I don't really know how that happens unless you like torched in the sun, but it also should not have Tanko decals on the side. It should have the number 7036, but still nice to have. Like it looks good in my collection. So no harm, no foul. It was relatively cheap. You have Reb Meeker here. This is Eugene Karbareski from Cars 1. This is actually a motor speedway of the south version right here. So we got to be careful with him. We're going to put him in the back. Now, if you guys didn't know, this is one of my all-time favorite teams, Piston Cup teams. I just love that it's pink. It stands out. I think Eugene has one of the best like designs. Like I love when they would combine like pink and white, green and white for Vitaline, James Clean Air, the light blue and white for Easy. I love those types of designs. And he falls into that category. I will probably do a Team Tanko video very soon because, as you can see, we're accumulating a lot. We have a little factory custom pickup here in white, so he really stands out. And then another custom crew chief, which is really, really cool. I'm a big fan of this one. It's a nice light pink with a cool custom expression. The only thing I don't have is a hauler. Surprisingly, believe it or not, I do not have a tank coat hauler. So, honestly, I probably won't do a team review until I'm able to get Jim Scavenger to do that. I've been asking him for years. I'm totally fine if he does it in like a Walmart trailer and then just paint the semi cab. Like that could totally work because white is a main color on tank coat. So yeah. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys soon for another video. Bye now.